Dick Armey is the former majority leader. He is now the chairman of Freedom Works. We've been talking a lot about taxes with the Herman Cain 999, I think now 909 plan, with the 20% flat tax plan that Rick Perry has trotted out. Newt Gingrich is saying, hey, wait a minute, I trotted out a flat tax plan before. Uh, Dick Armey is a guy who's been talking about taxes and tax policy and tax reform for a long time, and now seeing a lot of folks join the parade. Also, one of my favorite bass fishermen as well. Dick Armey, good to have you back with us, my friend. Uh, it's nice to be back. A lot of folks talk in taxes. You've been trying to get folks to focus on tax reform, whether it's the fair tax or the flat tax, for a long time. What are you liking about the plans you're seeing thrown out there or disliking about some of the plans? Well, uh, actually, we had been given Herman King credit for being the most bold guy uh, on the whole issue of tax reform, and we, we, we appreciated the fact that he would stand up. Now, the 999 plan is not, in, in our estimation, a good plan because it fulfills my most dire prediction to the advocates of a national sales tax, even back going back to the uh, uh, mid-'90s or when I reintroduced a flat tax in '93, and they were advocating a national sales tax. I said, you guys need to understand you'll never get a sales tax instead of an income tax. You'll get it in addition to one. I just didn't think that that uh, would come from a Republican uh, candidate, a candidate for the Republican nomination. But still, nevertheless, uh, uh, it's put the that, discussion that's on the just table. Not a very good tax plan. It, I, it, the problem with the national sales tax is it's not collectible. It's not, no nation state has ever been collected it, and that's why you have the value added tax in Europe today. You, you, you've got the, the argument that, well, you're going to let states collect it and then just send their share on to the federal government. Right. I suspect that the states will want to carry, you know, charge at least a little carry in charge for doing the Fed's work. Well, I suppose that's true. <laughs> but, but what happens, and, and I don't quite understand it, but uh, what we've seen, uh, as soon as you get the uh, sales tax up over 10%, uh, the, the incentive to cheat on it is very big. And the underground economy has grown in every nation state that's ever tried a national sales tax. It's just the contrary of what uh, the sales tax advocates uh, promise. On the other hand, if you take a look at the flat tax, it's got a, a worldwide uh, record history uh, experience of doing everything that was, is hoped for from it. If you take a look at it, it's the most recent application in Eastern Europe, the growth of the Eastern Europe economies that have gone to this tax system has been phenomenal, and they've frankly been beating the pants off the rest of Europe. So, you know, my my point is that the going to the flat tax is the single best policy option available to the federal government if it wants to promote economic growth and job creation. That, of course, needs to be uh, coupled with a continued commitment to reduce uh, spending and, and, and reduce the size of the government. You know, so uh, these two things are things that Governor Perry says he's committed to. Now, does he, he doesn't have the first best flat tax plan, uh, but he does have the flat tax plan, and he does indicate that he's uh, still committed to cutting spending. So right now, I would say that of all the folks out there, Governor Perry's got the best plan. We therefore then move on to the next question. Does he really truly mean it, or is it just a campaign gimmick for him? Yeah, yeah how hard will he fight for it if he gets right. the opportunity? Are you disappointed that Mitt Romney doesn't have a plan at this point? I mean, he says he's going to come up with one, but, but you know, it's, I mean, again, right. it's not late in the game because you've still got, right. got a lot of time. But at this stage, he's running for the second time and clearly didn't come out with a big tax plan last time. Well, Mitt Romney sort of falls into the category of the conventional orthodox sort of let's be timid, let's be cautious, let's always stay on safe ground uh, Republican nominee. I, quite frankly, that a lot of our activist friends across the country are a little bit tired of that. We've seen it with Bob Dole. We saw it with McCain. And so, to us, he seems very timid uh, on making really assertive uh, and bold policy projections. So, you know, we take a look at the flat tax, and I go back to a great line by Milton Friedman, this is no policy for the timid. I, I, my own view is that 
Mitt is so much into the, uh, I'm not going to be the one caught rock in the boat category that we just don't have much anticipation that it'll do anything with very much uh, of, uh, of an innovative nature to it. Former House Majority Leader uh, Dick Army with us, uh, now Chairman of Freedom Works. You know, we've talked for a long time, Dick, that, that there's a dynamic nature of tax cuts, and, and that gets lost, I think, in the flat tax analysis sometimes as well. Just the amount of time, effort, energy, and money Americans would save with a, with a tax form being filed on a postcard rather than all the money that goes into the other pieces, you can't even calculate the impact of that in creating jobs. No, well, I mean, this really goes back to a fight I was in, <laughs> being, excuse me, being an economist by trade. The manner in which they score these things is prejudicial against tax reduction. It's called static scoring, and the scoring assumption of that is, I don't care if we cut taxes, it won't change people's behavior. That's why when uh, you have some of these folks say, we can increase taxes even to 100 percent of income, and take all the money. We got a right to do that. It's a fair thing to do. What well, they don't realize is, of course, nobody will work if they give all, if they force to give all their money to the state. Which is what we've been talking about for a long time. You've been pointing out for a long time. And always good to visit with you, my friend, and catch up. Keep up the great work with Freedom Works.